All right. Ready? All right. Ready. What's up, guys? Pastor Rob here. Um, just wanted to do a quick video, kind of update you guys. Today was the last of her first round of chemotherapy. So we're really excited there. Give me five. She's done wonderful. A lot stronger than I am, to be honest. I'd have been whining and crying, but uh, she didn't at all. Um, we want to make this video to thank you guys for all of your love and support. Um, your encouragement has been so valuable to us as we uh, read your comments and your private messages and your recommendations. And just knowing there's so many people out there praying and rooting for us is, has really been special. Um, it's been a tough season, as you can imagine. Uh, Every day we've been at, or she's been at the doctor. She's had a wonderful group of friends take her back and forth. Uh, so that's been awesome. Um, but today we celebrate this milestone in her treatment. It's the first round only. She still has one more round. So for those who don't know, um, what started off as a tumor in her cervix, uh, we had, a, we had, sure she had, say we, I was there only. But she had a radical hysterectomy to remove the tumor and uh, what they removed was sent off for pathology. They removed the tumor of the uterus, some lymph nodes, and when they inspected deeper into it, they found more cancer in, in their lymph nodes, a very rare and dangerous cancer uh, called carcinosarcoma or gynecological carcinoma sarcoma. And yeah, really rare, about a thousand cases a year, and even more rare in the uterus, and even more rare in the lymph nodes. So, um, cervix. What did I say? Uterus. Did I say uterus? She had a cervix removed. Not I had it. the uterus too. Okay. They took it okay. off. Okay. But okay. everything's actual gone. Actual cancer was <laughs> cervical. Yeah. Okay. So, so initially, we're, she was diagnosed with a state stage one, three B, and from all the scans, it looked like it was contained only in the cervix yes so uh, it was quite a surprise to find out that it was a lot bigger than we first thought um, the first round of treatment was like uh, 30 was it 30 30 rounds of radiation yeah 30 rounds of radiation with the cisplatin chemo it's a sensitizer for the radiation so I did five rounds of that so yeah so today was the fifth and last <laughs> round of that chemo and that chemo is kind of a mild chemo meant to assist well, the, yeah radiation sensitizer yeah it's meant to assist the radiation the radiation was the primary focus mm -hmm. of this round of treatment next round of treatments will be carbotaxol carbotaxol combo combo which is like the really brutal yeah the full systematic hair loss neuropathy bone pain a lot of potential for a lot to go wrong but so far so good I've just been blessed with minimal side effects and symptoms and I really attribute that to just the lifestyle change I made since diagnosis and you know just having amazing support has been special for my healing yeah she completely changed her diet eating primarily vegan um, about 99% vegan for the most part uh, which I have followed suit and eating as clean as I can uh, and actually feel great so I can see why for a while there I was like how does she have more energy than I do I don't even have cancer <laughs> but uh, so we're both feeling pretty good right now um, it's 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 weird because you know on the outside to look at her and to look at us we look completely normal and functional she has all her hair still so it's almost as, it's almost as if do you really have cancer? Bro? Yeah, it's almost we don't have the the souvenir, I guess, of having cancer. Yeah, I it's guess like, it's the like weirdest... that shirt that says, you know, I went to such and such place and all they got was this lousy shirt. You know, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. The hardest part is just the weight of cancer, but the look of being so normal and life goes on and the kids still have school and dishes. There's always dishes. I've been Dinner. doing a lot of dishes. Everybody needs to eat constantly for some reason. Mm -hmm. We've had some wonderful people bring us dinner. Our church oh, and amazing. our church friends have, have brought dinner just about every other night for the last three months or so, except for on the weekend. So that's been that's been a, a huge help. Like I said, a lot of her friends have volunteered. I don't think you've had to ride by yourself yet. 
So her treatments are at a place called Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida. It's about an hour and a half uh, south of us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she makes an hour and a half track every single day. Wow. Yeah, one well, way. So yeah, three hour way. track for generally 15, 20 minutes worth of treatment time. Yep, radiation days, 15 minutes. Um, chemo days are a lot longer, about six hours, mm -hmm. five, six hours, something like that. So we left the house today at 4.30 and it's two and we're just now leaving the restaurant. We had a little vegan place down here called Vegan International. That's amazing. Amazing. I love going there. I love the service. Um, again, if you're going to eat vegan, might as well be good, right? <laughs> uh, Did you know the whole international is to recreate international dishes? Like empanadas, uh, spring rolls. Okay, that makes sense um, based on their menu. Rice and beans. I thought it was just hopeful thinking. No. <laughs> I thought they were, were going to take this thing worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> they will. They will. Yeah, so the, the only sad part about this whole vegan thing is I can't eat any more peanut butter and graham crackers at the hospital. Which yeah, is, which I'm is my, sorry for you. Yeah, cool. Well, technically, they might be vegan, but if you're trying to avoid weeds... Well, I'm just trying to eat good. I know, that's I the problem. I don't know if peanut butter and graham crackers is on. Because you can be an list. unhealthy vegan, too. Yes, yes. So mostly, yeah, just really focusing on plant-based and just clean, healthy eating. Yeah. Well, beyond a discussion of vegan, we just uh, veganism, we just wanted to thank you guys yeah. for your support thank you. so much. It's been such an encouragement. She was behind the scenes for, for the channel for the most part. So nobody's ever seen her, heard from her. She's kind of a uh, quiet to herself kind of person to begin with. Uh, so it's kind of neat to see everybody come through and just root for her like that. I mean, we're talking. It's just really special coming into this treatment. I just really do feel like everybody's prayer. I just really feel covered in prayer and just strengthened in that way. It's special. It's very special. Thank you for making my wife feel so special and so loved. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. We couldn't have done it without you guys. I, I, I'm just, I just know that. For sure. So until next time, we'll see you on the next video. See Peace. You. That's what we do on the channel. Okay. Peace. Peace. <laughs> How you feel? You feel like a movie star now? I feel like Gage's mom. <laughs> well, it was Mrs. Gage's mom. Pastor Rob. <laughs> Mrs. Pastor Rob. What's up? You should, you should do the intro. What's up, guys? Gage's mom here. <laughs> <laughs> All right.